Good afternoon. I'm joined today by Commandant Gavin Young, Defence Forces spokesperson. Gavin, the last week has been a very difficult week in Ireland and the Army has been at the front line of dealing with the crisis. Um, could you tell us how you used social media to get the message out to the media? Well, we used Facebook and Twitter as long, along with conventional email means to, to talk to media, to talk to the general public and anyone else who was interested about uh, our participation in flood relief. During the week we probably had over 1400 people involved in flood relief throughout the country um, and we still have today uh, and we as well as sending normal press releases we're obviously linking all those to our Facebook page and we're sending it out on Twitter and uh, there is interest in, in it from, from lots, of, lots of different people. What is the advantage for the Army? In the last year you've developed uh, quite a significant um, social media strategy. Um, you've uploaded a lot of movies from the front line and you've got a different message out to your audience. How does this benefit the way you work? It benefits us because we, we, uh, we get a message out there that might not necessarily make the 6-1 news headlines. We get all the, the formal uh, messages across but also there's lots of informal, uh, informal messages. And there's footage of soldiers just doing their work on a day-to-day -day basis that's not necessarily going to make a, a national newspaper or a national radio station, but it's still information nonetheless. And for, any, for anyone who's interested, be it a potential recruit, be it a parent, be it someone who's, who's stuck in the floods, it shows the job that we do and it shows it uh, to everyone who wishes to access it via the internet. What sort of technology do you use to capture video at the front line in Chad? Uh, we have used small uh, helmet mounted cameras, we have used proper uh, cine cin cine cinema uh, or movie, movie cameras, we have used mobile phones, anything that would have good enough quality that people can, can use, but something as simple as a, a high resolution mobile phone can be used and it can, can be edited down and uploaded to YouTube direct from Chad. The Army is quite a, probably the most formal, one of the most formal organisations that you, 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 could, you, you could think of. Was it difficult to get a, a social media strategy implemented and do the senior people within the Defence Forces see the value of it? Uh, it's not difficult to get a, a, a strategy implemented because you're working a, a, at the headquarters and it's my job to, to look at these things and look at developments in new media. So it, for, for me to set it up wasn't, wasn't hugely difficult. Uh, the senior people are aware of it, the senior people can see the benefit of it um, and for us it has benefits in that it just shows people a whole new side to the organisation that maybe they didn't realise the amount of uh, operations we have ongoing, the amount of training we have ongoing and just the, 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 vo the vast variety of of jobs that go on on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the Air Corps, the Army and the Naval Service. Do you think it helps with recruitment or have you noticed that yet? Uh, it certainly helps, certainly the age profile of people who are logging on would be potential, potential new recruits uh, and if that has benefits that's, that's fantastic but even parents of soldiers who are in Chad who don't know what their sons and daughters are really doing on a day to day basis, they can log on, they can look at some small short video clips of uh, what the troops would do out in patrol, how their, what their living conditions would be and even just that, it gives them an insight that they would not have previously have had. Thank you Gavin. Okay.